So, you know, that, that is an, an easy and a difficult question to answer. Uh, cognitive decline in Parkinson's is incredibly important. Um, it is probably the one of the most rate-limiting factors in our optimization in Parkinson treatment. Once a patient has significant cognitive decline, then it really, um, sorry. So once the patient has cognitive decline, it really limits our ability to, to optimally control their motor symptoms. So the problem with cognitive decline is that unless it's really pretty advanced, it's very subtle. You know, unlike motor symptoms in Parkinson's disease, they always start from mildly and then progress. So in Parkinson's disease motor symptoms, you have a little bit of a shake here that's mild and then this just becomes moderate and this becomes severe. In cognitive decline, mild would be you initially forget someone's name or someone's face and then moderate, you know, you, you forgot one, you, what you wanted to do and then severe, you don't know how to dress yourself. So uh, the, the progression is a bit more deceiving and subtle in cognitive decline compared to Parkinson's. And we don't know how to measure it other than just clinical measurement, which is, as I just mentioned, very, it's not at best, it's, it's, it's very crude. Um, so the biggest risk factor for cognitive decline in Parkinson's is age. As a person ages, uh, gets older, then they develop more cognitive decline. So we just have to be hyper vigilant in that patient population. Uh, the second is the severity of Parkinson's. The more severe the motor symptoms are, the likely the bigger hit from the cognitive standpoint is as well. And so you just have to be more careful. This is from the practical standpoint. When you have someone who's a setup, more severe disease, and then also a little bit of an older age population, uh, they're at higher risk. And then from the practical standpoint, I look at the caregiver because the patient usually won't have as much insight as the spouse or the caregiver. They would know if, if the patient has, is declining cognitively. Motor-wise, you can sense because you can see it. It's very visible to you. Cognition-wise, it's a bit more subtle. So you have to be creative and you have to use resources outside the patient. Okay, so um, the levodopa carbidopa intestinal gel, or LCIG, um, it's an interesting product. It has been out in the market, in, in the European market, for, for decades, and it just came about uh, to be utilized in America and other parts of the world. Um, it is the liquid form of levodopa, which is our most efficacious drug for Parkinson's disease, and the liquid form allows it to be delivered directly to the small intestines and for continuous delivery. The problem with levodopa is that it's very efficacious, but its half-life or duration of effect is very short. But if you do it in liquid form and deliver it every second of the waking day, then you maximize the benefit of the drug. Uh, so, it's really great. It changed our, the way we treat Parkinson's disease because we are now able to deliver the best drug there is to date, but in a longer and a more sustained fashion. Uh, the problem is it's still an external pump. Uh, it's still a little bit larger than we'd like it to be. So the operation can be a little clunky for some patients. Um, and hopefully technology will catch us up on this and the pump becomes smaller and the liquid becomes more concentrated so that uh, uh, it could give also freedom in doing activities of daily living um, in addition to delivering it in a more constant flow uh, and um, so so that actually what excites me the most is the practical aspect of LCIG at the same time, it has kind of, uh, what we call it, up the ante in delivering and being creative in um, the administration of medications to make it more nimble, uh, more user-friendly, um, less expensive for patients. So 
Uh, I think, if anything, that is the contribution of LCIG is like to challenge all other industry developers, like think of better ways of, of delivering this. We started it, you, have, you need to make it better.